So I want to share a little bit about myself. I have not really introduced myself. And I want to share with you that personal brand has helped me tremendously in my career. And I believe that it's also going to help you tremendously in your career. So I've been in the speaking industry for 14 years. Uh, this year, I turned 40. And uh, I want to ask you guys something. Do you think become better looking? You know why? You want to know my secret? Photoshop. <laughs> Alright, but it's been a very long journey as a speaker, as an entrepreneur, uh, 14 years in total. And I want to share with you that, you know, being an entrepreneur, you and I were like entrepreneurs, right? It's a roller coaster, right? There are going to be some days where you're going to be very happy, yeah, like today. But there are also going to be many, many days where you're going to look like this person, okay? Because there's going to be a lot of challenges ahead of you, right? As you break your limits. So, I want to share with you this picture. This picture has very special meaning because it was my very first overseas speech. And this was my first speech in Malaysia. So can anyone guess where is this place? Anyone want to guess? <laughs> huh? Yeah, someone, someone say bookstore, you're right. It's definitely a bookstore. It's actually uh, MPH in one Utama. Right, so uh, that was my very first overseas speech in your country. And back then I was very excited, but unfortunately, if you see this picture, there were only 15 people that came for the class. You look at today, there's like 400 of you, but back then only 15. Now you might say that, uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Now, uh, you might say, hey Eric, 15 is okay, it's quite a lot for your first speech. But what I didn't tell you is that seven of them are my friends. <laughs> so the real audience is only five. And then the three auntie and uncles are just resting their legs, so they are not part of the audience. So it was really, really bad. And uh, I remember that at the beginning of my career, it was very challenging. There was no social media back then, so we have to send a lot of emails to our prospects, to our clients. And I remember that I would have to send 20 emails before I can get one appointment. And even if I get one appointment, this appointment would feel more like an interrogation. They will ask me how old I am. They will get me to look at their PPT. It was really, really tough at the beginning. And I was very close to giving up. And um, one of the crazy things that, you know, people will always question me is my age, right? Because I started this career pretty early. And uh, one of the things they always say to me is, I'll translate that, okay? It's, it means the amount of salt that I eat is more than the rice you eat, implying that I was very young. And in my head, I was thinking, if you eat so much salt, you may die of kidney failure, you know. But that was the challenge that I faced, right? Age was an issue for me. And so, the fortunate thing was, uh, I met this mentor uh, a couple of years ago, and he gave me one of the best business advice. And I want to pass that on to you as well. So what's that advice? He told me this. He said that people buy people first. In fact, the longer version of it is, life is a popularity game where people buy people first. In other words, you can be the smartest person in your country, you can represent the best company in your country, but if I do not know who you are, if I do not like you, if I do not respect you, I will not do business with you. How I feel about you is extremely important. So as much as your company is supporting you with technology and all the branding, you need to do your own personal branding as well. Because when people buy, they don't... So you gotta make sure you work on that. That's how you gain your unfair advantage in 2022. So that's your personal brand. And I believe that it was a lot about my personal brand when I started building it that can help me, you know, get on the global stage. It's my very first Takafu presentation and I'm gonna memorize this moment because I think it's so cool that I get to do this in 2022 with all of you guys, okay?